we have left the province of Quebec and now we are officially in New Brunswick. Oh, I see it. <laughs> this is awesome. There's something that I've always wanted to try, which is lobster rolls. Mm, that's delicious. Whoa. That is so cool. All set, ready to go. Hi. Hi. Bye, Gigi. Bye, Gigi. Gigi. I'm gonna miss you so much. <laughs> she wants to come with us, babe. I know. Do you know he cannot come? <laughs> He's crying. He's crying. <laughs> We are up bright and early today because we are going on a road trip to New Brunswick, which is one of the maritime provinces in the east coast of Canada. So there are three. There's New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. And we have never been to the Maritimes because growing up in the west coast, it's always been so far away that it was just one of the things that's on our bucket list. So I'm glad we can finally go today. Do you know anything about New Brunswick though? Yes, they have the best Canadian lobsters. That's there, what I'm very excited for. <laughs> there is a town there called Shediac, which is where we're heading to now. It's known as the lobster capital of Canada or of the world. So yeah, we'll go check that out and show you guys. And we also know that it's kind of an adventure province. There's lots of hiking trails, there's some campsites. Um, yeah, we're gonna discover New Brunswick for ourselves and we'll bring you with us today. This is the town of Shediac. We just have to find the giant lobster. Keep an eye out for the giant lobster. Oh, I see it! <laughs> oh, do I go in here? Yeah, right? Yeah, turn right here. Oh, it's busy. This is awesome. Because the rain has finally stopped. Yeah. Perfect timing. Nice. Good job. Oh, this is so funny. There's not just a giant lobster here. On that side, it's a lobster science center. Oh. I think you can learn about lobsters in there. This is cool. Let's go check it out. It's such a beautiful little town, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you said that it's not that big, right? No. You looked it up. The it was... population of 7,500 people, but there are a lot of nice houses by the water. And so many RVs parked along here. We actually are going to be camping in this area as well because one, it's cheaper than an Airbnb yeah. or a hotel. That's like a couple hundred dollars. But uh, also because Shediac is famous for Parley Beach. So that is really close to our campsite, mm -hmm. which is in Parley Provincial Park. Yeah, it'll be a fun experience. Seems like this is the little town for camping and lobster. Yeah. This thing is humongous. <laughs> this is the largest lobster in the world, I think. How big do you think that is? 11 <laughs> meters long and 5 meters tall. Oh, yeah? You can walk up. Let's walk up. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you can walk up. This actually is much cooler than what I was expecting. When yeah. I saw that there's a giant lobster, I was like, okay, it's probably gonna be lame, but... It looks real. It does. And it looks good, it's beautiful. It makes me hungry. <laughs> let's go eat lobster. Yeah, let's go get lobsters. <laughs> this is it. We're at the Lobster Deck restaurant. And this is what <laughs> I'll be having on lobster plate. 
There is actually a lineup coming out the door there. There's something that I've always wanted to try, which is lobster rolls. So if you're gonna have the lobster dinner, then I'm gonna have lobster rolls. Okay. Looks just like the one at the giant statue. <laughs> it's a baby. Very, very baby. Oh my goodness. Okay, so mine is the lobster roll. I don't even know what's in it, but it looks really good. Probably some mayonnaise, cabbage. I'm not sure. I've never had a lobster roll before. <laughs> and then fries, and it comes with a coleslaw. It's like a nice toast and bun. It's so meaty. The whole bite. Of chunky lobster. My first lobster roll. A success. My turn to try my lobster <laughs> first. I have to put this on because it's gonna be messy. Perfect. How cute is that? Okay. Now you can dig in. <laughs> I'm ready. Wow. Dip in this liquid butter. It's so juicy. Wow. I'm not used to dipping it in butter. Usually in Thailand, we dip it in seafood sauce. Yeah. You know, the spicy, sweet, and sour sauce. Mm -hmm. But butter works too. I remember um. the lobster we had in Da Nang, mm. where it, it was not really about the lobster. It was about the garlic the butter sauce. The garlic butter sauce. Right? So this one, like this way of eating it, is really to enjoy the lobster for the lobster yeah, flavor. Yeah, because you don't want to overpowering the taste of the lobster itself. Mm. Wow. So I wouldn't say it is cheap because it is $71 for our meal. I don't know how lobster compares because we don't usually eat lobster outside. We tend to buy lobster and just cook it at home. But 71 I guess, seems like a normal price nowadays for two people yeah. to go out to eat in Canada. Right now, it's 8 o'clock and the sun is setting at 8.38. We have about 30 minutes to set up the tent before it gets dark. How are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I checked in. I got this is called a cord of firewood. Okay. Because he's like, You're getting a cord of firewood? I was like, I paid for eight dollars. How much is that? He's like, A cord. Nice. Yeah. So, how much was the campsite? Campsite was $35 okay. plus tax, which was $5.25. So, it was $40.25. Plus eight dollars for the firewood, <laughs> so roughly fifty bucks to spend. It's not cheap to camp. No, it's but not. But an Airbnb would be like a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. And we have camping stuff with us in uh, your mom's house, so mm -hmm. why not? As I said, we have <laughs> half an hour to set up before yeah. it gets dark. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that! Camping car! It's always wet! <laughs> One now! One to go! Bring it in! Perfect! Sleeping bag! <laughs> Pillows! Okay. We're all set! It's like, it's like we bought a new tent <laughs> and all new camping equipment because even though we've had this for five years before, I don't remember <laughs> how to put it together. <laughs> we flipped it completely wrong for the tent. <sighs> I think it took more than an hour. Let's go set up the fire and relax. We had a long day. I'm just glad we're not hungry because that would have been a problem. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys again tomorrow morning. <laughs>
Good night. Good night. Yesterday, we were pretty lucky with the weather. It wasn't raining when we were setting up our tent, mm -hmm. but once we got into the tent to you know, get ready for bed, it started pouring rain, but I slept pretty well. How no, did you sleep? I had a decent sleep and it got pretty cool at night. Yeah, you we, did end up using the sleeping yeah. bag. What is this? Knick knack nickel. You can get a souvenir coin. So you put a dollar in and then you also put a nickel in and then it's going to squeeze your nickel into a souvenir coin. Cool! Have you done it before? No. I used to do this as a kid in a lot of the attractions. I once saw this in Thailand but it cost like $10. <laughs> so weird. Okay. Is that it? And then look, I have to turn. Where's my nickel? Oh, the nickel's in there now. There you go. It says Hopewell Rocks NB, New Brunswick. So you can make it into a little uh, necklace, right? Or just keep it as a souvenir. <laughs> I don't want to wear this. It's cute though, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. We're walking towards the Hopewell Rocks now and there's two ways to get there. You can either walk this walking trail which takes about 10 minutes or you can pay two dollars per person per way to take a little shuttle to go down to where the um, access to the ocean floor is I think. But it's more beautiful and it's more fun to walk and that's kind of mostly what everyone is doing around here anyways. Whoa. That is so cool. That is pretty cool. How can those rocks still stand? I know, like the top is big but the bottom has eroded significantly. Did you even know this existed in Canada? <laughs> no. I've seen photos of this. I just didn't know where it was. I think this is the most touristy spot so far we've seen here yeah. in New Brunswick. This is where yeah, most people come to see. So today's tides, the high tide is at 7.10 at night and the low tide is at 1.10 in the afternoon. That's why all the kayaking tours were set to like 6.30 over there. And it says the time span between low and high tide is 6 hours and 13 minutes. This presents a unique opportunity to walk on the ocean floor from 3 hours before low tide until 3 hours after. And make sure to check the tide tables before you venture on the ocean floor. <laughs> I really need to see how high the tide can go up all the way up there. Isn't it like 16 meters? Yeah, I think it's yeah. 16 meters high when it's high tide. But because the tides come in and out mm. every day, so there's always like loose rocks. Right. Yeah, there are signages everywhere warning you about the rocks. So we could not go here, but we can walk around mm -hmm. through this tunnel. And be careful because it's slippery. Yeah. Like the mud is slippery, but also there's some parts that have like seaweed. like seaweed, which is a bit green. Yeah, just be careful. Wear sneakers or hiking shoes or something. Uh oh. Your hand in the meeting, 
It's so muddy on this part. Do you want some seaweed? Yeah. <laughs> you can make seaweed salad. Does it smell? It doesn't smell anything. Is that salty smelling? No. Uh, let me try it. Don't know what to eat. But that is so neat. It smells like plastic. obvious that these rocks were formed not recently they were formed thousands of started to form thousands of years ago because of the erosion from the wind from the water the tides hitting it every single day and it started to form these kind of flower pot shapes and that's why they call them the flower pot rocks and why this park is called Hopewell Parks or Hopewell Rocks is because right next to this area there is a small town called Hopewell Cape and they thought that if they named these rocks Hopewell Rocks the hope is that they're going to remain standing even through all the erosion that happens to them day after day. It's quite unique and it's so beautiful and that's why it's one of the wonders of Canada. Not to mention <laughs> this is the Bay of Fundy and why the water is so powerful hitting these rocks is because the Bay of Fundy flows into the Atlantic Ocean that's why there is a huge amount like hundred and sixty billion liters of water pushing into this bay twice a day now we can say that we have been to New Brunswick Yay! Checked off one of the maritime provinces. I think there is a lot of adventure things to do in mm -hmm. this province. And it is the biggest maritime province. It's a great place to visit if you are coming over to the east coast of Canada. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next province. We'll be going to Nova Scotia. Bye bye! bye.